Well, it's Valentine's Day, so I'm chasing down Valentine's stuff, flowers specifically. So I've been trying to discover who's got what for favorite flowers. It's been a little bit of a challenge. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Good. I'm Cody. I'm Halea. Halea, how good are to you? Meet you? I need flowers for um, my wives. I usually don't see one man coming in to buy four arrangements for four wives, but it's not for me to judge. This would be for Mary. Okay. Something like this. I like this for Janelle. Okay. The freesia with the black magic. Okay. For Robin. Who are the purple roses for? The purple, these would be for Christine. She liked the lavender. She also likes the fire and ice. Okay. Is that all you need? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay. Okay. Sounds okay. good. All right, thanks very much. Thanks. Bye. Have a good day. So for Valentine's Day, um, we're going to do fondue. And I was told that Valentine's Day dinner is at your house, Christine? Yeah. Okay. The four of us got together over at my house so that we could plan our family Valentine party. We have a Valentine's tradition now. <laughs> that makes so. it easy because it's hard, you know, with the whole Valentine's idea. So, I, know, I mean, Valentine's Day for polygamists. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So I, think... I had somebody ask me, does Cody just split up the day into fourths? <laughs> More than any other holiday, Valentine's Day is just definitely not a polygamist holiday. <laughs> no, it's probably not. It's probably not. They don't really make cards specific <laughs> for polygamists. You know, that stuff isn't really done for Valentine's Day. I love you and you and you and you <laughs> with all my heart. So I was actually kind of kind of had a crazy idea. Um, what if we basically attack Cody's car and decorate it? You know what? I think that might be good because it's kind of like a big card, sort of. Okay, but how are we going to decorate it? What are you thinking as far as decorating it? I like the idea of helium balloons so when he opens the door, this whole thing <laughs> of balloons comes out. <laughs> I think he'll be amused by it. <laughs> I don't think he'll be mad. He'll probably roll his eyes. <laughs> but I think he'll think it's kind of funny. So borrow the car, take it to someone else's house, decorate it, drive it back, and, and then um, he can come out. and Maybe he needs maybe, to come out and see it. Yeah, and say, I think I scratched something. Will you come out and look at it, please? Can you lie well? Oh, yes. <laughs> I love Valentine's Day. I do. It gives me the reason and excuse to do something special. That's why I like it. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go tell Dad that my tire's flat again. And then I'm gonna borrow his car and I'm gonna bring it down here. We got stuff and we're gonna kinda decorate it for Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna go grab the car, okay? I'll be right back. You know, the plan is that I'm gonna go up to Christine's house where Cody will be and I'm gonna say, hey, I need to borrow your car. Um, my tire's flat. And then take the car down to my house, decorate it in an inside and out, and then actually take it back up and then kind of fib and say, oh, I think I wrecked your car and have him come out and then have everybody there and surprise him. We have got a party to get going on here. Someone asked me yesterday if I felt sorry for you because you um, have Nobody so much. And I'm like, no, he has all year to prepare for it. Cody? I hey, made it. Cody, yeah. can I hurry and borrow your car? My, my tire's flat again. I need to go run really, really fast to the store. Can I borrow your car real fast? Not long, right? Because no. I gotta go too. No, 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 no. I'm gonna. I'll be fast. Don't, don't, don't we have a compressor in your car? I'm gonna look for the compressor. You know what? You know what? Go ahead. I just gotta hurry. It. Don't worry about it right now. We have so much to do. Just don't even worry about it. Okay. Can I just tell you how stressful it was? It was, was it? stressful, yes. From the moment Rob, when Robin comes in to tell him that she needs to borrow his car, instantly he goes, oh, let me go get the air compressor. It's just in Christine's garage, and I'll go and blow up the tire. And I'm like, that would ruin everything. And then it, I'm like, how in the world do I keep him here? You, you know, when, when we got the stuff out for the kids to sit and decorate, I was like, hey, be careful. We need to be careful with Dad's car, though. Yeah. Don't scratch dad's car, you know, like, don't don't hurt it. Okay, you guys, these things can only go on the windows, not the front windows. We had to make sure, we told him, make sure you only paint on the windows, not on the paint, <laughs> and just be real careful with it. Uh, Mom, that's horrible. That's horrible. Mom, we gotta go. Oh, you no, gotta go. no, no, we need more balloons. Okay. We needed to get back up to Christine's house, but I didn't think we had enough balloons. 
So we sat there like hurrying. I was telling the teenagers, more balloons, more balloons. So we were just blowing up a whole bunch of balloons. Where's some more balloons? Balloon As cancer. we were walking, David, <laughs> yeah. we're walking up, they're walking up beside the car and she's sitting there blowing, hurry, hurry, stick some more in. More balloons, more balloons. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna hurry up and go tell him to come out. I'm gonna tell him I absolutely scratched his car. So. Is it that simple? Yeah, it's so simple. Okay, I'll let you do it. Cody? I have to do it. Yeah. And um, grab it. I, I put a little... Like, you are totally foul. <laughs> Listen, it's cool, whatever. Daddy <laughs> said he family did it. I know. It's... What Robin comes in the house and she's shaking. She's like, I'm really sorry about your car handing me my keys saying I didn't mean to and all this stuff. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> I'm just thinking, is it going to be a big dent or is it going to be a scratch? Well, I walk out, I see a pink car and a giant surprise. And, you know, Did we was, get you there? Yeah, you had me. It was totally, it was deadly, got me. Oh boy, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, Cody and Christine equals love, and Cody and Robin equals love. Yeah. Hunter is my favorite child. <laughs> Rockin' awesome. <laughs> it was a fun surprise because the little kids really got into oh, it. Was. And it was it was actually a lot of fun. And I'm looking at Robin. Oh, 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 oh I'm gonna get you back, <laughs> you know. It was funny. What? <laughs> better and better at throwing family Valentine's Day parties, and I think this was our best yet. Hey Mary, happy Valentine's Day. I don't know how it was for everybody else when Cody was giving them the flowers, but it was just like, okay, here, talk about obligatory love day. <laughs> that's not how I felt about that's it. That's how, that's how it felt to me. It was just like, okay, here's your flowers, happy Valentine's Day. Are you trying to remember well, who's Well, I know who's which who's? one's which, but the problem is... Dad, 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 Thank you. I got bases too heavy. Valentine's thank you, sweetheart. That is gorgeous. Happy Valentine's Day. You did good. That's gorgeous. Thank you. You guys were all busy. It was great. Uh, I was able to just hand everybody else, everybody a bouquet of flowers. You know, and... And then um, I didn't know what to do with it. I know, the three of us, us I'm were like cooking. walking around the now kitchen what? with like one Stirring hand. one hand. <laughs> okay, he's a keeper. <laughs> he's a keeper. He's a keeper. Say thank you. Valentine's Day is this monogamous holiday that we have transformed into a family event. And to avoid any awkwardness, we will simply celebrate it as a family. Everybody listen up. Tomorrow afternoon, we're meeting with Tanya Cobbler. She's the woman helping us get a loan for the houses that we're talking about. So tomorrow, we find out if we're gonna be able to buy the homes or not. Very important meeting. And for the first time in a very long time, it makes me very, very nervous. All right, everybody, listen up. I want you to just gently say, Happy Valentine's Day. Are you ready? One, two, three. Happy Valentine's Day!